was over at the Lockwood Aviation this week, and uh, there was a couple of courses that you were running. Can you give me a little uh, bit of uh, what that was, what that was all about? Okay, basically, we have uh, Rotax classes on the various engines. The ones that we held last week had to do with the service and maintenance on the 912s. Uh, the first two days were the uh, 912 service class. That class has to do with uh, the unique elements of the Rotax 912 engine, how it's different from traditional aircraft engines, the different systems, and uh, just situational awareness on how those operate so that when you operate the airplane uh, with a Rotax engine, you know what the do's and don'ts are. Uh, and then we also go into just some of the simple servicing like compression checks, um, oil and filter changes, spark plugs, uh, just the, uh, the straightforward stuff that uh, you would do on most any aircraft engine. Now, who would be involved or who would sign up for that style of the course? That's typically a course that would be attended by owners and operators of airplanes that use the Rotax engine. Uh, that would be sufficient for most of those guys uh, right there. For somebody who is an ANP, who's a pro working on the airplanes, or somebody who's a home builder, for instance, that would be, for them, the introductory course. Uh, then, after that, they would go on to a maintenance course that would be more in-depth. Now, how long is that first course? Like, over how many days is it? <clears throat> the first course is two days, and it's eight to five. And it's a pretty full eight hours each day uh, covering material. Now, is it a hands-on experience? Is it book work? What is all involved in? The, the first day of the two is just strictly all academics. I mean, we're just learning the engine and the systems, uh, some of the installation aspects of the engine. Uh, the first half of the second day is all hands-on, down in the shop, doing things like oil and filter change together, uh, removing the, the oil tank and cleaning it, um, changing spark plugs, inspection items, things like that. Uh, then the second half of the day, we're talking about fuel systems and carburetors, uh, why we call it a constant depression carburetor, for instance. And then we go into the, uh, the essential nature of the carburetor synchronization and what the whole process looks like. Then we're back out on the flight line doing an actual beginning to end carburetor synchronization. Uh, and then we end the day just by going over uh, scheduled maintenance uh, checklists and the um, uh, the exam, the written, the, the prerequisite written exam for courses of that nature. Now, how many people would be involved in this course? Like, is this something where you've got 20, 30 people involved? And Actually, no. Uh, minimum, I like that we need to have about six people. Otherwise, we just lose too much money doing one of these classes. But uh, we keep it as a maximum of 12. We've been able to get more than that into the classroom, but it becomes crowded and uncomfortable, and it's more difficult for one instructor to keep track of everybody and make sure that they're interrelating and interacting in the course so that you can make sure they're all getting the material. Now, if someone were to come to a course, do they have to come with any tools? Do they have to come with any equipment or anything in order to participate? No, about the only thing that we want people to bring is a laptop, uh, and some people don't have one, but some people, some of those borrow one. Uh, but other than that, you bring a pad of paper, your favorite writing instrument, and an eagerness to learn about the Rotax engines, and that's it. Now, are there any manuals or anything you're supplied in the course? We do print out some of the manuals that you typically use, things like the installation manual, operator's manual, line maintenance manual. Um, but there are a couple of key ones that we don't, just because they're so large, like the Illustrated Parts Catalog is about 360 pages. The heavy maintenance manual is about 480 pages, so those are a little too expensive to uh, print out, but you would want to learn how to access them online and have them in your computer anyway, just so you can stay up to date. Now, I guess the, the uh, website addresses are all supplied in the course as part of the curriculum? Oh yeah, there are a number of websites that are used as assets uh, for anyone who is servicing or maintaining the Rotax engines, and we do cover those quite thoroughly. So if somebody wanted to enroll in one of these courses or get some more information, is there a website they can go to to get the information? They could go to www.aerotechnicalinstitute.com. Uh, they could also email me at, it's just dean at aerotechnicalinstitute.com and uh, just say that you're interested in the classes and we have a very generic email with a lot of information uh, about the courses and even about the area around Sebring uh, so that you can make plans for attending the class. A phone number they can reach out as well? Uh, yes, you can call uh, Lockwood Aviation at 863-655-5100 uh, and we'll get you all kinds of